All right, hey guys, how's it going? How's it going? Tesla Revolution here, and a video recently came out showing what the FSD full self driving computer was capable of. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to go through that video. We might do it in slow motion and then in regular speed as well to see what exactly the computer is seeing, what it's analyzing, how it's doing it, and to see if really full self-driving is possible in 2020. I know they had set the goal previously to 2018, then they had moved it to the end of 2019. It is now 2020, and we have a look behind the scenes explaining exactly what it's doing. So let's go ahead and play that, and we can see that it's analyzing the speed of the car in front of it. It sees a stop sign. Uh, it sees the distance of the vehicle in front of it as well. And it's analyzing whether it's at a safe distance, whether it's at an unsafe distance. It's calculating all of that. It's calculating the center of the car as well. Uh, it's seeing the stop sign here, where exactly where you should stop as well. You see that. And it, it'll even show, <laughs> it'll even say how far that line is. And um, here in this video, it's showing that there's an auto high beam to see whether it should go in high beam. You see it has um, uh, tire spray, rain detection as well. It can detect whether the road's wet, whether the tires are wet. And then once we get into the city, it just sees everything around it from all the parked cars to the lanes to the opposite lane, the distance of each parked car relative to the car, the distance of the buildings the opposing car, <laughs> the oncoming traffic and how far that is at an intersection. It's calculating all the signs in the intersection, whether a car is passing that intersection. It's reading the pedestrian lines as well. And uh, it's watching this car go by and it's seeing the speed of the car, the distance of the car. I mean, it is analyzing so much uh, while also obviously uh, analyzing whether the lanes are drivable or undrivable lane splits. It is seeing signs from really far away, like it's got 20-20 vision. And I mean, this it's taking in so much information from how fast it's going to how fast everything else relative around it is going. And now we understand why Elon Musk was so concerned about AI, because it's clear that AI is incredibly powerful and when we put this in normal speed you can see that this is analyzing it in real time and it's doing it better than human beings it's doing it much better than human beings i mean it's it's seeing all of these objects it's missing some i mean i think for the most part it's getting what's relevant to the drive I'm sure that as time goes on, it will be able to recognize more things and identify more things as the neural network grows and adapts to it and all the data that they have, they're able to analyze and input into the computer as the AI uh, deep learns everything. Well, what's remarkable is that uh, it even sees this pedestrian walking on the sidewalk while it's it's virtually, it's, it's got seven eyes. Imagine walking around, or driving rather, with seven eyes. Right? Imagine driving around and you can see the 360 and analyze the distance of everything um, and calculate how far you are, how far an object's gonna get to you. That's what it's doing in real time and it's incredible. And one of the things that Elon Musk said was that the computer still has space, that it ha they haven't even maxed it out even when it is driving by itself. It, it hasn't maxed out the capacity which means that we may see full self-driving in 2020. You know, m my optimistic side of me is saying 2020 it is possible, maybe 2021, but it's incredible what this computer is getting. My car has a 2.5. I can't wait to get the 3.0. Uh, people who have it, I mean, there's not much of a difference, they say, but just to be able to see all the visuals is really great. One thing too is that, um, this thing at the moment is displaying at a frame rate of about 18, 19, 20 frames per second, and that the vision is taking in about 17 frames per second. Now, just to give you an idea, I'm a videographer, and for films, we're usually filming at 24 frames per second. I think the human eye sees at about 24 frames per second. So I don't know if they're gonna increase that because I notice that the frame rate drops every once in a while. I'm not sure if that's a software thing or if that's a bandwidth thing. 
Um, I don't think it's the computer, but we never know. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. It's pretty brilliant what I'm seeing, and this is just one of the cameras. Imagine the two side cameras going, four side cameras going, analyzing all this information. And then the rear cameras activated as well, analyzing all of this information. This is just from one camera angle. So it's quite remarkable what this computer is capable of. And I think for a lot of us, it's even more exciting realizing the possibility that yes, as Elon Musk says, it's not too far-fetched to believe that it is possible. Some people are saying it's nowhere near possible, but I've seen the incremental improvements in the autopilot. It's brilliant. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you agree or disagree? I'd love to hear from you guys. But as always, be positive, stay positive, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to join the Tesla revolution.